Now that the Public Order Emergency Commission has concluded its inquiry into the federal government's unprecedented invocation of the Emergencies Act last February, it seems likely that the Commission's final report is going to turn on at least one of two questions regarding whether or not reliance on the Act was legally justified. So the first question is going to be whether the threshold definition of threat to the security of Canada was satisfied pursuant to the Act. We talked about this in one of my earlier videos on the Commission and its inquiry, where I noted that Section 16 of the Emergencies Act adopts the same definition as laid out in Section 2 of the Canadian Security Intelligence Services Act of threat to the security of Canada. One of the bombshells that dropped during the final weeks of the inquiry was that CSIS had previously assessed that the so-called Freedom Convoy that blockaded much of downtown Ottawa for this past winter did not meet this threshold definition of threat to the security of Canada as laid out under the CSIS Act. However, in a subsequent appearance before the Commission, CSIS Director David Vigneault testified that he had been advised by lawyers of the Department of Justice that the definition of a threat to the security of Canada is broader under the Emergencies Act than under the CSIS Act, and that consequently, he personally supported the federal government's decision to invoke the Emergencies Act. This is a point that has come under considerable scrutiny from legal scholars and the lawyers who were cross-examining witnesses before the Commission, since it would seemingly suggest that a threat to the security of Canada is something other than the explicit definition that is given under the Emergencies Act. But during the final week of the inquiry in particular, the focus of the Commission really shifted to a somewhat separate but legal question, whether the government had reasonable grounds under Section 17 of the Emergencies Act to believe that a public order emergency existed. And this is certainly what both Justice Minister David Lametti and Prime Minister uh, Justin Trudeau sought to convince the Commission during their respective testimonies before the Commission. And they raised specifically the specter of potential violence and economic concerns over their decision to invoke the Act. Now, on this point, the Prime Minister sought to shift the focus from whether a broader definition of threat to the security of Canada had been adopted and instead emphasized that he relied on other evidence and inputs when assessing whether the criteria for invocation of the Emergencies Act had been met. The challenge on this point is that the federal government claims that it has a legal opinion that was drafted by the Department of Justice that states that the criteria for invoking the Emergencies Act had been legally met. But the government has nevertheless uh, claimed privilege over this document and so has chosen not to publicly disclose it. And so it will be interesting to see the extent to which uh, the Commission in its final report is able to make a determination of whether or not the invocation of the Emergencies Act was legal, given that this very crucial piece of information has not been made public and has not been disclosed to the Commission. Now, of course, though, as we discussed in my last video, uh, the Commission serves a very important role primarily to ensure that there is public accountability for when the Emergencies Act is invoked. The law requires that such a, a Commission be assembled every time the Act is invoked, but its findings are, strictly speaking, not legally binding. They will not go before Parliament for a ratification vote, and it, legally speaking, it does not determine the outcome of the litigation that is also being brought to seek judicial review of the federal government's decision to invoke the Act. Certainly, it may more broadly have an effect on how those proceedings are perceived, and it may well be relied on uh, as evidence. But in and of itself, the litigation is going to be addressing separate questions, and the federal court is going to have its own authority to come to a separate conclusion than what the Commission decides.